gentlemen, Naxim Reviews, show number 257. Ben Dixon, your host. I'm really looking forward to connecting with you today. If you're joining us live, go ahead and comment below live. If you're watching on replay, you can message below watching on replay. So today on the show, we are unpacking what it looks like to create a winning game for your teams in 2023. Whether there's all kinds of of folks who watch the show inside of the referral marketing niche. Some are way over here on the side of affiliate marketing or influencer marketing or direct sales, or and then some are over here in party plan or in, in, in network marketing. There's a whole spectrum of people who participate in independent contractors who are passionate about a product or service, sharing that with their friends and generating commissions to earn an income, growing a company virally. So, when we unpack creating a winning game uh, for these teams, it's so much more than commissions. Okay, and it starts with thinking through their motivations, right? And what does motivate people? What drives them? What are their goals? It's not a one size fits all world. So we think that people will just be tied into the rewards in the world when the motivations are a critical piece to look at and actually pause and think about is why are people wanting to promote our products and services? Why, what, what is it they're hoping to get in return by taking part in our referral program? And who is this person? And what are their needs and desires? And what does their day look like? And as you st start to think through those things, it can become clearer and clearer what actions you would take to create a winning game. Rewards is the next component, and yes, commissions are important. How you get paid is real, but what other types of rewards are there? Are there contests for training events? Is there um, incentives uh, for product purchases? Is there um, incentives for using the product and experiencing it and having a real life experience with what it feels like to be a consumer of the product or the service? So thinking through your rewards will be the next piece of major groundwork once you get through motivations of what it actually takes to create a winning game inside of the space so take a moment to think through the rewards and what's possible you know we see companies today um, creating customer rewards inside of a program so they're not only inviting customers to share if they're selling like a SaaS software to get their subscription for free but in uh, nutritional companies or companies that have regular consumable products we see people giving their best pricing not just the people who are on a subscription but who are loyal who have been on that subscription for three or four or more months inside of the platform so you can think about how to work the different rewards into your culture that motivate not just your salespeople, but your retail customers to maintain that relationship with you and be that long-term, you know, maximized lifetime value of the customer experience. Next, ranks in daily habits. Okay, many of us are familiar in referral marketing of having ranks inside of your structure as a source of motivation of a scoreboard of who is achieving who is getting to the next level what we're seeing in 2020 for 2023 and what companies are doing now is they're not assuming that everyone's motivations are the same they're not assuming uh, that the right rewards motivate everybody the same and so what's happening is companies are zooming out and having people simply commit to daily habits committing to how many people a day they're willing to reach out to how many people they're going to follow up with how many minutes they're going to spend growing their mind and with that commitment to daily habits, we're then seeing scoreboards around people who are winning the day or winning the week. Much simpler conversations of like, who in the company is on the longest daily streak of activity? Who in the company is on the longest weekly streak of activity? Okay. So we're, we're thinking through that world of saying, how can we have scoreboards and, and show not only who on your team is winning the day, but who in the company is winning the day and, and who you should be running with because they're running with you. Winning games comes down to so much more than ranks and commissions of people's motivation, of knowing they can do it, of knowing what's possible for themselves. If you'd like to see some of the predictive engines that have been put together that are creating these games today, I invite you to check out a discovery session of the Naxon platform. Um, there's actually a recording we put together 
um, that's available and I'll put in the comments as a link. And then there's a live case study review happening um, this Thursday. And so if you'd like to see the live case study to review, definitely send us a private message here or go um, email me at ben at maxim.com and we'll get you an invite to that executives only session um, to see the replay of the information we put together on setting up companies for 2023. Uh, check out the Naxim tour link below um, that I'll put in the comments. Have a blessed day, gang. We'll talk with you soon. Bye for now.